now to two other controversies involving the White House, including the IRS's targeting of conservative groups for special scrutiny. NBC's chief White House correspondent Chuck Todd has the latest on this. Chuck, good morning to you. Good morning, Santa. Well, more conservative groups have come forward overnight saying that it wasn't just IRS agents in a rogue Cincinnati office that were doing the targeting, but that this was also taking place in the IRS here in Washington. Meanwhile, Democrats made the outrage bipartisan, led by President Obama. President Obama spending Monday night with supporters in New York City after a rough 72 hours for his White House. At a news conference Monday, Mr. Obama said he was outraged at the IRS. I've got no patience with it. I will not tolerate it, and we will make sure uh, that uh, we find out exactly what happened on this. The president said he wasn't made aware of the allegations of IRS misconduct until last Friday. Now a timeline and a draft report by an inspector general reveals IRS employees in Cincinnati began scrutinizing conservative groups that included the words Tea Party and Patriots in March of 2010, one year earlier than the IRS had admitted. The timeline also shows the IRS's chief counsel was briefed on the matter in August 2011. And despite testimony in March 2012 from then-IRS Commissioner Douglas Shulman telling Congress conservatives were not being targeted, the IRS now tells NBC News that Shulman's deputy was informed of the targeting two months later. Turning to Benghazi, Mr. Obama defiantly rebutted Republican charges that his administration initially downplayed that the attack had ties to terrorism, calling the controversy a political circus. The whole issue of, this, of, of talking points, frankly, throughout this process has been a sideshow. Now, hearings on Benghazi and that investigation will continue later this week, but they may not be public as the committee that's been investigating this, Matt, wants to interview the two investigators at the State Department, Mike Mullen and Tom Fickering, who did the State Department review, because most importantly, they want to find out why was Hillary Clinton, then Secretary of State, never interviewed during that investigation. All right, Chuck Todd at the White House this morning. Chuck, thank you very much.